What's up YouTube, back at Chesterfield today. We got a great video for you guys today. We got a cash out with our boy Chris. Britton's gonna take you behind the scenes here at Chesterfield, show you a little behind the scenes in the back of the store. We got a guy coming in to sell us some shoes so you guys get to see how our in-store buying process works there. Before the video's over, we're gonna reveal our top comment from last week's video. So uh, watch all the way through and you guys get to see the winner and then how much they won as well. Before we get started guys, don't forget to check out our new website, soulcave.com. We got some cool features on there. My favorite is the shop by size. It was so big online that we had to put it in store in person. So now when you come in, if you're looking for one size, you can literally pull up to the size chart and uh, scan your size, just that one QR code, and it will pull up everything we have at both locations. So that's super nice. Hope you guys enjoy the video. What's up guys, it's Britton. Back here at our wrapping station. This is where we do most of the wrapping for the shoes. Sometimes we'll do it off front, but mainly we do it back here. This is kind of where we double check shoes, give it another look over, make sure everything looks good. Check both sizes, make sure the box matches up, all that good stuff. Legit checks, kind of if you guys want to see more of that, whether it be a Yeezy, Jordan, Dunk, let us know in the comments. Yeezys, I'll kind of touch on a little bit. You always want to make sure the box is pretty sturdy. Sometimes it'll give you that, that Yeezy far. With the box, kind of, you just want to look over, make, make sure a couple things line up and everything. You want to make sure this number down here matches the tag on the shoe. Just so you know, it's the same pair of everything. Sometimes people get a little sneaky, put a different shoe in a different box. But then with the label, you always want to make sure that this inside is lined up with that zero and 700 or 350, whatever it may be. Uh, the faded azure, that's the colorway. You want to make sure that the number original is made in China is kind of all lined up with that right in the middle of that O. And then with the Y, you just want to line up with that line right there, right on the size tag. We don't really have anything to compare it to, but the uh, fractions on here, the half sizes and stuff like that, you want to make sure those are a good font. So with the labels, you just want to pay attention to the placement, font. Then with the shoes, 700s are a little bit harder, but you want to pay attention to the stitching, the placement. Usually this is a telltale of a fake. You can usually see the difference. I've had a fake pair of 700s. That's a story for another day. <laughs> uh, and then you don't want this to be too wide. It's on real pairs, it's skinny like this, but on fake pairs, it'll widen out like this and get a little bit bigger. And then with like insole and stuff like that, we can get more in depth on that. Just let us know in the comments if you want to see some of that stuff. But I'm gonna get into wrapping it. I'll show you kind of how I do it. I do the same thing just about every time. I'm probably one of the most picky people with wrapping shoes out of Cam, Riley and all them. So every time I wrap shoes, I get it pulled out like this. Kind of crinkle it a little bit. And then sometimes the sides, because it's rubber and stuff, will get stuck to the plastic. So I'll, sometimes I'll blow in there, sometimes I won't, just depending. But I put the toe right up into this top. And then I'll usually go back. I usually put the toe in first, because with bigger sizes, you can't bring the shoe up unless the toe is all the way at the top. I usually put the top like sock liner where you put your foot in at this top corner and just kind of diagonal it a little bit. When you're heating it on bottom, I don't want it all crinkled up here because this is where we put the stickers so they don't fall off or anything like that. So I'll grab kind of a bag and pull it all the way to the back. So I'm kind of holding it back here at the heel and then you get a nice spot here where you can put the stickers and all that. I always turn it on the first setting because the second setting just gets a little bit too hot and it blows a little too hard so you end up putting holes in the bags. But I always start with this back side, just kind of get the heel done first and the sides and then I'll go over the top. Now I'll just do the sides again. This side right here on the inside is always the hardest part to kind of get down. It always bubbles up right there with every single shoe. And then after I get the top done, just come down here, like that. Flip it upside down just to get the corners and stuff like that. And then this is kind of what you're left with. And then it, basically what I do is I'll cut this off. 
leave about, I usually leave about two, three inches. And then we usually save this just to like stuff the Yeezys, like 350s and stuff like that. Cause when we wrap the 350s, they end up getting smashed and looking like a flip flop. But then I just take this, fold that side in like that, put that over there. And then I'll just kind of smash it back down. My hands get hot though, I'm not going to lie, because this gun does get pretty hot. And I'll just kind of fold it over. And then I use a good press down just to get them kind of stuck together. And then that way, it's not as ugly. And then I'll just go over the top again, just make sure it's all snug and not plastic just drooping or anything. And that's kind of the finished product. Got to put the stickers on. I don't know if it's me, but I always put them in the same spot every time, just so when you're picking up shoes, you're not, they're not in different places. I usually go barcode right, size on the left, and then I'll put the QR code up top. And then I'm gonna just do one more pair. And then, like I said, with Jordans, we can do a legit check about it. Box is always important. You don't want the boxes too flimsy or anything. These are very hard to legit check, I'm not gonna lie. but. Pretty much Big Teller is kind of this back shape. You don't want it too skinny. Just jump in. You don't want the arm too big. Usually on the fake pairs, it looks like he benches 500, but here is Jordan. And then bottom, I was gonna make sure it's a good milky. It's not like too translucent or anything like that. But let us know if you want us to get into some of those legit checks. I just put the toe down in the corner. Put that back up top in the corner up there. And just grab it back here again. And just start at the back. Sometimes it can get a little weird um, with patent leather shoes. Plastic can get a little wrinkled up and make some weird, like, I don't know, sometimes the plastic sticks to it. So you don't want to get, like, you don't want to burn this patent leather. I don't know if you can do that, but every time I wrap a patent leather shoe, I'm always super careful, just in case. And do the bottom. Sometimes I'll do this back heel, just give it, stretch it out a little more. And sometimes that happens, a little hole. Don't really care about that. Sometimes if it's on the upper on like a suede shoe or something like that, I'll rewrap it, but very seldom I'm trying to, I know we're wrapping shoes in plastic, but I'm not trying to, not trying to get too, uh, not environmentally friendly. And then do the same thing again, fold this side in. Put that there. And then with like Jordan 11s, 13s, they're a bit just kind of bubble spot there again. I usually go over that and just press it down just because people pick them up, it'll knock a hole in them. Hit the bottom. And then sometimes it'll, plastic will like clump up together. So you don't want it to do that too much on the bottom because then it'll be sitting like sideways or lean in one way if there's too much in one spot. I'll just kind of press it down, hit again a couple times if it's a little bit not as pretty. And then you can kind of see like when you do the bottom, it kind of messes with the upper a little bit. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it wrinkles up and just kind of makes it look a little, little ugly. So I'll go back over it, just get it nice and snug again. Barcode there. Size tag. And QR code. That's kind of how it's done. It's kind of fun. It's kind of, uh, it's one of those oddly satisfying things at times, but it's easy. We wrap pretty much all our brand new shoes, unless they're going in like a case or something like that. Or if it's like a certain, it's a really expensive shoe. Sometimes we just don't wrap them just so it doesn't mess with it or anything. Cause we have had issues in the past with like certain suede shoes. I don't know if it's the combo of the heat and then just being wrapped up. So usually if we have a pair for a while that's suede or something like that, we'll take it out to plastic, let it breathe a little bit. Appreciate you guys. If you want to check out any of these shoes we got, it's just soulcave.com. Thank you guys. I'll see you.
So hey, I'm here today with my guy Chris. Chris has been a friend of the family since the very beginning. I think we met like you came in the store. I think I just let you know that I mess with sneakers a little bit. Yeah, and then, you know, this guy travels to like every city in the country. So then he picks up shoes. Like he texts me from Vegas and he's like, Ryan, look at the shelves. They got dunks on the shelf. And so he buys them and he sells them to me for more. Smart guy. So if you're out there, you can learn a lot from this guy. So we have like, a, he brought a whole bunch of shoes today. We're gonna go through and negotiate out what we want and then he'll take back whatever we don't want. But I don't, we never end up there, do we? No, no. I, always, I always leave up the hand. Yeah. So the first thing we're gonna do is we got some pandas, right? Those are like right here, I saw them. A, a six and a half, a six, six and a half, seven and a half. They're women's GS and men's, right? Yeah. Where are you at on these? Uh, I think I'm at like two, 220 on the women's and uh, 210 on the GS and the uh, men's. Okay, shoes restocking, everybody knows. It's almost become like an Air Force One. Price is going like, but we can't keep them in the store. I'll run that, I got it at, yeah, that, that'll work. I mean, that's fine. Rick and Morty's, we've never even had these, bro. This shoe has like been blowing up. Rick slept and Morty on. Yeah, slept, slept on. on. Well, I don't know if they're slept on. Everybody's buying them, right? They were slept on when they dropped and they yeah. went to the moon, yeah. Lamello, Rick and Morty's. Never had them in store. What do you want on these, bro? Uh, this is the other reason why you shop from Chris. Every store receipt's in the back box. I'm hesitant to let them go. I think their their market's right around four. I like to get close to four as possible. Um, you want to run what do you think 370 it? per? That's good. All right, that'll, all right we got that. Some diamond diamonds. Mid. Diamond mids, you're, you're always good on those. Those sell pretty good. We only got a couple pair, right? Sevens? Yeah. Little, little over retail for you. All right, we'll run those. I don't even need to talk about price or over retail. I know what that means. Same with these Jordan ones. Yeah. Or mids. Ooh, this is a shoe. We have never had this in store. Did these drop already? Uh, they they showed up at a Hibbit one day. It's the only one I've seen. <laughs> it's the only one I've seen too. Yeah. So they have Jordan 4s coming out like this, yes. right? Yeah. Huh. Pretty nice. Kind of classic. Good quality. Good quality. Yeah. Not bad for a little bit. What's it called? Yeah, what do you want to run on these? Uh, I'm thinking 140. 130? 130 is Another shoe that we sell really, really well. Jordan 1 Lowe's. What are you thinking? Uh, 140. I know, but I'm biased because I sell this so good. I already gave you yeah. all my leverage. <laughs> Literally just bought 25 pairs of these and now I'm buying another 28, 28 pairs. What do we run these at? I'm gonna hook you up. Um, on the fives and five and a halves and the sixes do 115 each. Yep. And then on the six and a halfs and sevens, I uh, will do 125 each. Okay, I'll run that. We're gonna take in all 28 pairs. It's just a shoe, it's a clean silhouette. I think this shoe is gonna go up. I know there's been a lot of re-releases, but you can never go wrong with a red, white, and black Jordan one ever. So you buy these when you can. Especially when the market's like right now, this is when it's a good time to buy these just because the market's just like right now, so. Less than it holding too long. Those were at 150, 160 when they first came out. Uh, hold too long, market dips, and you gotta let them go sometime. Everybody knows this shoe. Cool Grey 11s, where you at on this? Uh, it doesn't matter, I'll pay you whatever. Matter. Yeah. I'll pay you whatever. Yeah, I'm Speaks for itself. And by the time they get in the store, they're gone. So it doesn't really matter. It speaks for itself. It's we'll a rare, rare 12 and a half. That's a, that's a unicorn size. Where are you at on the Jordan 6s? Uh, I'm at 275, but I'll get your offer. Two, uh, 240? 250? That worked for me. Right there. We don't play a lot of games or negotiation. We just kind of get our numbers in, go. Uh, a lot of people are probably gonna wonder why I'm buying this shoe. I think this is just what I think it is. Chris has them. They bricked out. A lot of people don't like them, but I'm, I will tell you in the store, we don't have any pairs. So, um, it's a clean color. It's, it's a, a clean brick, color, but, you know, black. People, people you can match purple works. well. It's not bad. If you're a Vikings fan, you might like this shoe a lot. Where are you at on these? Uh, a less than retail. We'll okay. do, uh, we don't have to follow through that. Five on the retail. All right, we'll take those. All right, we got some new balances. So everyone's been talking to me like, Ryan, why don't you carry new balances? Why don't you carry new balances? So he hit me up and he's like, I have some new balances. I said, bring them. I mean, this colorway, you can't go wrong. This is a great colorway. Everyone loves light blue. Everyone loves white. It's clean. It'll be a great dad summer shoe. 
Anyway, I think we. I got my personal on? pair for my dad. Summer shoe fit. Yeah. Yeah. Where are you at on these? Uh, we will depend on size between uh 170 and 190. I think you can 160, do 160, 180, just because I want it because I gave you on the other one. Yeah. We're good. All right. Guys, if you take care of your plugs, you pay them right. Don't bounce your checks. The plugs, the plugs don't waste time going anywhere else. They just keep bringing their, yeah. their hauls here. Yeah, exactly. What else we got here? Dunk, light pink. What are these called? Pink dunk, white. I don't know if I've seen these. Not bad. Not a bad shoe for the ladies. It's nice. What do you got on these? Uh, 170. Yeah, hell with it, I'll take it, I'll try it. All right. Again, dude, if you guys are reselling, you wanna make it easy on stores you're selling to, get the receipts in every box, keep them in there when you buy them. It makes my life so much easier. Chocolate mids, slow down a little bit. Yep. But still a great shoe. I like this because I, brown is so in, like light browns and earth tones are in, so I kind of feel like this shoe won't go, it won't plummet, sure. but I don't think it's gonna go crazy high, right? What do you think? I, it might go up 20, 25% market, yeah. uh, but you know, the longer you hold, you're not in the holding business, you gotta move it now. And, we're gonna move it right now. Where are we at on these? <laughs> uh, I, I think, we're, you out I think we were at like a 140 on those. Okay, we'll take it. Why, why did they release this shoe late? They're, they're just, uh, their timing is impeccable. There's this is crazy awesome shoe, honestly. Yeah. It's a great dunk. I bought, like I walked into a sneaker store yesterday, they had like grade school size, or like uh, preschool, preschool size, so I bought them. But like, because I'm a sucker for baby shoes. Oh, reverse panda. I think this shoe's slept on. Oh yeah. People should be buying this shoe. I, I wish I would have uh, hit a 12. Uh, it's a women's shoe. Yeah. Yes, I wish I would have hit the 12, so it would have been my size. I, I really like that color. It's a great it. shoe. Reverse Panda, we've only had a couple pairs. They, didn't, they haven't like flooded the market with these like they did what they have with Pandas. I think this is a shoe you can still buy on the low. What are you asking on these? Uh, 220. So 220, let's just say, I don't I mean, I don't know if they're gonna go to 280, 290, 300. It's a good chance because if they keep, they stop restocking. Early December. Yeah. It was uh, one day on the Nike app, yeah. Yeah, so it's crazy. I think it's a great shoe. We'll run that because I just want the shoe in the store. Oh, that's a nice one. I haven't seen this one before. Armory Navy. Armory Navy. Armory Navy mid. Uh, Where you at? Retail. Oh, yeah. Take that. Retail. See, that's how you do it. Oh, pink. Look at this one. You guys have seen those. He doesn't even have to tell me the price. I know we agree. <laughs> that's how we do it. Oh, another shoe that we can't keep in the store. Shoes sells great in the store. Grade school sizes. We got a whole run here. Six and a half, five. Five wide, six and a half, and six and a half. Kids that wear seven will want this shoe so bad, they'll, they'll try to put their foot in it and tell mom it fits well. Where are you at on these? These uh, are going up, right? Uh, I like 280. 280, okay, we'll run that. Okay. Last few shoes. I think this is a well slept on shoe. Yeah. I love this shoe, actually. I love this shoe for ladies. I love this shoe for guys who can find the right size. But where you at on these? It's to uh, 150 on that. 140? 140's coming. Yeah. 140. Another shoe you should buy. You should buy this shoe, I think. I think that shoe's going to be 190 one day. Another Bigfoot one, size 12, linen, mid. Sells this pretty good. I think we have all we have in store is size 12. But I wanted to add another one. Chris never goes home. I'm not gonna like send him home with one pair of shoes. What are you at on these? Uh, let's do 160. All right, So 14.7, Chris, always great to me. We are going to cash him out and then we are going to process these all and these will be out on soulcave.com very, very soon, probably in the next 48 hours. By the time you see this video, they'll be ready to go. All right, bro. Thanks again, man. So my guy came in, basically, he's bringing me some Union Dunks. We were talking a little bit on Instagram. Mind if I take a look at it? Sure. Appreciate your boss. So we got a size eight and a half of the new Union Dunks. This is the Argon pair. Very high quality. I had to get myself some for the person. It's a nice pair. 
But yeah, we're gonna run through. I'm just gonna blacklight them a little bit, take a look, make sure everything's good. Then we're gonna cash them out. These glow like sodomites. What made you want to get rid of them? You know, I'm not like, if I had a ton of shoes and I was like big into collecting, I'd yeah. probably keep them, but it's like, no they're a little too flashy for me, yeah. honestly. I respect it. All right guys, so right now what we're doing, we're gonna take a look at the bottom of the insole. As you guys can see, it's got the flat lines, almost like that upward diagonal curve towards the right. It's perfect, that's exactly what I see. Got it from sneakers. We're still gonna take a look, as you know. Thing on the back looks good. Check out the bottom, it's got the little union guy doing his little jump, you know. Everything there is going. Check out the size tag, looks great. Check this pair, just make sure there's no flaws or anything. What's your favorite colorway out of the three? Pistachio. Really? Yeah, I like the uh, I like the light green. Yeah. What do you think they'd look better in the white, with the white laces or the uh, blue laces? So here's my thing. Yeah. When it comes to having a white tongue on the shoe, yeah, I always throw the white laces on it. Yeah. It just complements that tongue really yeah. well. Yeah. Just something I always go with. What would you throw in? Would you throw the blue in? Here we go. One blue, one white. You know? Oh yeah, for sure. One of each. Yeah. I respect that. That'd be cool. Everything's checking out on my end. You said that you had that sneakers email for Yeah, me. you want to see it? I'll always take that, that look into it might as well. Awesome. Yeah. And then do you have the one, there should be like a Nike confirmation one. It'll show you your size and everything. Right there? Yep. Perfect. There you go. All right, let me make sure the box label. Perfect. J code look good. Yep. So we basically, we agreed to uh, a price on Instagram. We went back and forth a little bit, sorry, you know, around 310. My boy helped me out. He, we're gonna rock with 270 today, so I'm gonna get him some cash and we're gonna get him out of here. You guys let me know. You let me know who won the deal. Is it win-win? I got it for retail, so I mean, you know, I got a deal. He's helping us out. As long as everybody's happy at the end of the day, that's all that matters. 100, 200, 250, 270. All right, thank you. All right, man. bro, appreciate you. Have Thanks for day. coming by. That's just a little bit of behind the scenes of how my, my in-store authentication slash negotiating. Obviously, we did prior agree on a price before on Instagram. We do a lot of our buying like that. We set them up through Instagram first. They'll come in, grab the pair, I'll authenticate them real quick, get them a cash, and get them out of here. That's the first deal of the day. I think I got another one coming in here in a little bit. Argon Union Dunk, size eight and a half. Love to see them. All right, guys, we told you last week that we we're gonna pick a comment and give away some cash. This week's winner goes out to Henny, H-E-N-N-Y, Henny, congratulations. Henny gave us some love and some great advice on that comment, so this week you're gonna win $50. Congratulations, Henny. Just hit us up in the comments, let us know the best way to get in contact with you so we can send over that money. All right, guys, we're gonna be doing this every week, picking a comment and giving away some cash. So make sure you guys drop a comment and uh, stay tuned for next week for the winner. Don't forget, every Tuesday at 7.30, we're going whatnot to give away some steals and deals. And then don't forget to like, subscribe, and then hit that bell as well, guys. It means a lot to us, and we appreciate you watching.